The blood vessel system is much like a highway or a railroad track that delivers all the important goodies for the tissues to behave and survive. In the vascular system, we want to keep things moving just as we do in the transportation system. Well, Dr. Murad, we're in a place you're probably pretty comfortable with. <laughs> yeah, I've spent many hours in these kinds of rooms. As you were doing your research, Dr. Murad, uh, did it ever occur to you that this research was so incredible that it could be awarded the Nobel Prize? I realized that the research that we were doing was very important, very interesting, but the odds are so slim. I mean, it's just so slim. The likelihood is very small. So you, you don't build your career and everything you do trying to get the Nobel Prize because odds are it's not going to happen. But by the 1980s, about 10 or 12 years after we discovered nitric oxide and its biological effects, I began to think that maybe it was possible. It's recognition by your peers, your colleagues, and the scientific community that what you've done is obviously important. And uh, there aren't many of us that have that opportunity. Well, you know, thinking about your work ethic and how hard you work, and I want to translate that over to uh, our hearts. Are you fascinated by the heart and, and how powerful and how important it is? Oh, the heart is amazing to beat as many times as it does, you know, approximately 70 times a minute for an entire lifetime. It's a lot of effort. Why do you think cardiovascular health has become the number one issue in the world? I think it's primarily because of our behavior. Uh, we're sedentary, we don't exercise. Uh, and I think a lot of it is the style of living and the, the foods that people eat. And, tobacco use and you know the other sins that we all enjoy. More and more science is pointing towards uh, the opportunity for uh, nutrients and vitamins, minerals, amino acids to play a role. Are you seeing that in your research as well? Uh, absolutely. I see that emphasis on exercise programs and diet and supplementation uh, really makes a lot of sense biochemically from my perspective because the enzyme that makes nitric oxide in all of our tissues, nitric oxide synthase, uses these nutritional supplements to, as substrates and cofactors to make nitric oxide. Hmm. The, the substrate for the enzyme is L-arginine, a simple amino acid. It's an essential or semi-essential amino acid, and by that we mean that your body can make some of it, but not enough. So we're dependent upon diet to get the quantities of arginine that we need right. for this enzyme. Well, with our fast food diets, we don't get enough of the right foods and we don't get enough of the right vitamins and antioxidants to support the activity of the enzyme and therefore we don't make enough nitric oxide. So arginine supplementation alone is probably not gonna help very much. The antioxidants alone won't help very much. The combination is what makes sense. Is that what drew you to RG Plus? Yeah, absolutely. I've been interested in this field for the past seven or eight years. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of people will take arginine and they may have uh, an improvement of nitric oxide in the body, but, but in your research and in your opinion, um, you feel the real key the real key to RG Plus is success and what people are feeling in the, in the field and so forth when they take the product is the vitamins that are the catalysts, if you will, in there. And then also the fruit blend that uh, is in there with full antioxidants, antioxidants, full antioxidants. Right. And that combination, right. that unique combination is the reason it's so successful. Exactly. If you were to explain this uh, to your children or uh, to somebody else, well, why does it all matter? You know, arginine and the conversion, and then what is that, at the end of the day, what does that mean to a person? Well, by making sufficient quantities of nitric oxide, it dilates your blood vessels, improves the delivery of oxygen and nutrients to all of your tissues. So because of the improved blood flow, you're getting more nutrients and more oxygen to all the critical organs in your body. Right. Is that right? That's right.
you know, from our standpoint, we see distributors and people, and people have commented to me uh, time and time again that uh, because of their use of RG+, um, that they feel better and they look better, they're able to perform at a higher level. Does that surprise you? The nitric oxide does so many things that I don't think I'm surprised by anything anymore. It really is remarkable. You know, another thing is uh, we see a lot of um, people seeing a benefit who are sports enthusiasts or athletes, whether they're weekend warriors or whether they're professional athletes. Um, we've seen that. Um, and in fact, I've seen some studies that have been done that show that uh, through arginine supplementation that they're able to uh, uh, quicken recovery and they're potentially able to uh, extend their exercise regimen. That's surprised. Some people still think arginine products are only for athletes, but they're not. They're for everyone. Everyone. Particularly those that uh, don't have time to eat the appropriate diets or exercise. And, you know, they're busy with fast foods and doing all the things they should not be doing. At the point that you uh, recognize this discovery, did you comprehend the impact it would have on the world? at that time? I knew that we had solved a very major problem in cardiovascular medicine, but I didn't realize the total impact. That took another, another seven or eight years. Because of your research, we can bring forth a special product like RG Plus to nine million distributors worldwide, and it can bless their lives. And so I guess on behalf of all of them, all right. I'd like to say thank you. Well, thank you. I'm, you know, I'm so pleased that I've been able to pull this off. And uh, if there was anything you were to tell the, the Forever Living distributors, uh, what would you tell them? Well, go sell a bunch of product. Mm -hmm.